So today we're going to take a look at version 535 of PosiTouch, uh, which we will begin installing in the first part of 2011. Uh, take a look at a few of the features uh, that will be new to that version. Uh, first off, we'll show you the new interface, uh, kind of a new skin for PosiTouch. Uh, and then some of the specific features we'll look at are defined menus based on job, uh, overriding prep sequence and prep category, and routing by defined menu. So here we see the new login screen uh, that has been updated in version 5.3.5. And this is after login. Uh, here we see the order screen. Uh, you can see we've just gone with this kind of black background throughout and just updated some of the uh, bitmaps. Just make everything look a little crisper, a little cleaner. Uh, here we see the view edit screen. Uh, just been streamlined a little bit. And our payment screen as well. So just a nice new look. Uh, as far as functionality, uh, here we see tying a defined menu to a specific job. Uh, this is great for when you have servers and bartenders, let's say, sharing a terminal. So if you've got a cocktail terminal that they're both going to access, rather than having them both have to use the same menus, they can, based on their job, get a menu that, that corresponds just to them, but on the same terminal and during the same shift. Uh, here we see prep sequence and category override. Uh, the primary use for this is if you have appetizers that you also want to offer like as an entree, and also if you have entrees that you want available as an appetizer. Now in the past, you've had to set up two different screen cells for those. Uh, if you had you know, different routing or a different sequence, if you wanted to appear in a different order on the check. Now you can override that with just a option cell. Uh, so we can set our uh, item here, that's a cannelloni entree. If the as app modifier is selected, then the prep sequence and prep category will both be overridden to whatever the prep sequence and prep category of that as app option are. Uh, so now this cannelloni would go to our appetizer printer uh, and would be grouped with the appetizers on the on the expo check. Uh, and then finally, this is routing by defined menu. Uh, this allows you to override routing section uh, routing schematics by the specific defined menu uh, that the items are attached to. Uh, this can be very useful for. Uh, similar to the sharing of a terminal between two different uh, job types. So if you have a bartender and a server using that same terminal, well now each of their defined menus can send items to different places. So in our bartender server analogy, if from that shared terminal a server rings up a drink uh, that needs to go to the bar for prep, a ticket would print up. Whereas if a bartender rings up that same item, the ticket would not print up because the bartender is going to be the one making it. So really all of these options are just adding to the customizable nature of PosiTouch and letting you uh, have some increased flexibility in how you set up menus and uh, terminal assignments. And so those are some of the new things that are coming in version 535 of PosiTouch.